Hello everyone, it's very nice to have a voice today. Uh, it's my first video with, uh, with a microphone, so I hope the recording will be fine. Uh, let me know in the comment what you think. This is RC Scale 101 and uh, I'm going to present you something that I think is worth talking about. It is uh, this uh, paint. It's a paint made by Stuart Sample um, in the UK. And it is uh, claimed to be the mirroriest mirror paint in the world. So um, if you don't know Stuart Sample, he's an artist who is creating uh, pigment and paint uh, for the, the artist community. Um, he has uh, started a war against Anish Kapoor who has uh, uh, copyrighted some pigment and some paint and uh, noticeably the blackest paint called Vanta Black. So he's creating pigment for the community and uh, selling it uh, to everybody except uh, Anish Kapoor. We can check on the website, it's uh, fairly funny. Uh, what I want to do to, with this is actually uh, transform something that is plasticky into chrome-like surface. So that's what we're going to do now. This painting is fairly expensive, it's about uh, 30 pounds, 30 British pounds for this uh, little flask of paint, but a little paint really goes a long way, so you, this will cover a lot of surface, more than a square meters or more, that's what they claim if I remember correctly. So let's do that right now. I really put already too much inside, but you can see the texture. They ask, they recommend to use a very soft uh, paintbrush. I'm gonna just go straight like that without even polishing anything. This is a 3D printed oil drum, and uh, let's see how it's uh, coming out with this paint. As you can see, this uh, paint is really spreading very well. Very easy to apply. They are running out of stock, so if you are interested, you should fairly look quickly. I will put a link in the description to link where you can buy this paint. I have been trying a few different uh, silver metallic paintings so far, and uh, while some are working reasonably fine, they never give that proper chrome finish that I would expect from a metallic paint. And I think this one is the one that is really giving the best results. Pretty impressive when it's drying. When you want to have a model that looks much more scale, uh, there are many occasions where you want the plastic to be look to look like metal and not uh, plastic. And this paint works really, really well. And here you have it. It's a really good finish, I think. It really looks like you applied some aluminum foil or another pure metal on top, but it's actually a paint. All right, thank you for watching, subscribe, like, share, that means a lot and uh, keeps me going to make more videos. Thank you very much.